Hey guys, it's Carrie. How's it going? So, we're going to try something new today. I bought those um, sticks from, the popsicle sticks from the Dollar Tree, and I want to try to do a pick 10 with you guys. Um, I have already gessoed the page. I used Liquitex Basics gesso. Got it gessoed. Um, and so I'm going to do this my way. I know a lot of people pick a stick and then do it. My brain doesn't work like that. I have to have some semblance of order. So I am going to randomly pick 10 sticks and then I will pause and get my poop in a group and then we will begin. So let's pick some sticks, shall we? I've got 60 different things in here. And so I'm just gonna pull right from the center. Use a Stabilo All. And we'll go for this one right here. Use Gelatos. This is gonna be fun. This one is, oh, finger paint. That's gonna be really fun. <laughs> uh, let's go for this one. Add Painty Paper. Okay. That's four, five. Oh, add Painty Flowers. Six, use Posca pens. Seven, add string or ribbon. Eight, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, this is eight. Eight, use a brush to add paint. And then nine, draw or doodle. And 10, is this one right here, whatever that might be, is add duct tape. <laughs> Alrighty then. Okay, so obviously I've got my Posca pens. I need to find some strings. I need different colors of paint. I've got gelatos, Stabilo, finger paint, use a brush. Draw a doodle, add duct tape. Okay, I will pick some colors and find some stuff and then I will be right back with you. Oh my gosh. Cinder just grabbed a box that I have full of rocks and she just carried it out in the backyard. That thing's gotta be heavy. I don't, uh. <laughs> anyway, I'll be right back. All right, quick for you, not so quick for me. So I am going to add duct tape first. And uh, duct tape. If I can find the start. Okay, sit back down, Carrie. Sit down. Find the edge. I love this duct tape. It's like uh, graffiti, kind of. Let's see, which way do I want to go with it? Probably this way. I am going to put it right here on the edge that out of the way. Let go of my finger. And then let's give it a choppy do. Uh, yep, sticky stuff. I know I didn't get very close up there, but I will go back and chop that off later. We should save that for something. It's big enough. Okay. We added duct tape. And I like it. All right. Now we want to add some painty paper. I got some pink paper to add don't really want to add it over the whole thing so we're just going to rip it up and add it in spots my intention is to kind of paint over it a lot <laughs> some of it overlapping probably hmm some of it going over the edges. 
don't want everything to be perfect. Do I like that or do I want strips? <laughs> oh, the, the mind changes. I don't want that one because it's too perfect. I think I like the strips better, but I don't want them to be like we'll put this one in the center, and we'll put that one up there, and we'll put this one down kind of like that. Yes, that's what I want. What I really, really want. Okay. I'm just gonna put that down, and I'm actually gonna try my little glue spreader. That's getting glue everywhere. That's all right. It's all right. This is really thin paper, so it should should glue down pretty easily. And it might not. Well, I don't know. I was thinking it might. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Bleed. But I don't think that it's going to. Because oh, let's flick glue on ourselves. Because it is. What's it called? Um, food coloring. So, oh, yep, it is moving a little bit. That's all right. What you guys went up to? I gotta show you with my doohickey in my mouth. Anything? Interesting going on? You excited for a COVID Thanksgiving? <laughs> I, uh, it's just gonna be Robin, me, and M. That's it. And you would think that we were feeding about 400 people with the amount of food Robin got. <laughs> But there's nothing better than leftover turkey and the fixins, right? All right, let's put this one right here. This doesn't take very much glue to get it down, and I'm trying to spread it thin so that I can um, I wonder how well that's going to stick to the duct tape. Uh, I'm trying to spread it thin so that it'll dry quicker. And I like the wrinkles. I don't want too many wrinkles, but I like it adds a little texture. Alright, let's get a paper towel. Wipe off some of that. that a dry and I'll be right back with you all right I'm back now I'm going to finger paint so we did our duct tape we added painting paper now I'm going to finger paint <clears throat> I just picked a few colors and we're gonna go with it I like the finger paint. Okay, pulling up the sleeves because I don't want to get paint on this shirt very much. Finger painting. 
How fun. When or how long has it been since you've allowed yourself to finger paint? Get your hands all messy. I'm actually going to, whoops, I didn't really want to get any on that page, but you know, I'm just going to cover this just a little bit. I don't want it all the way covered. There we go. It's very plum. <laughs> Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get some of this excess and put it down here. And then I'm going to take a baby wipe. Wipe off my hands a little bit. Then I'm going to back off some of that. Because I kind of want those, at least the grid on that paper to show through. And my paint's already starting to dry, which is good. Like I said, I don't want a lot on there, but It. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, let me get this dried off and I'll be back with you again. All right, that is dry, and now we're gonna add some painty flowers. So I've gotten out a few colors that I wanna use to add the painty flowers. <laughs> and I don't know if this is like technically cheating, but we're gonna use the brush to add the paint to add the painty flowers. <laughs> Cause, yeah. Painty flowers. Red, orangish, and yellowish. All right. Let's do it. Well, isn't that pretty? <laughs> Prettiness! Pretty, pretty, prettiness. Come here, paper towel. Not a hand, apparently. Okay. Alright, now we want an orange one. Excuse me. Something, something like that. Okay. I 
now I am going to move these out of the way so I don't get my arm all in them. Uh, maybe I'll add another quick little layer to the yellow. I like how it's kind of painterly, but I wish it was just a little bit more opaque. Yeah, yeah. Getting the bracelets in. The pink. There we go. This is my first ever pick a stick. So welcome to <laughs> my world. Okay. So let's get this dry and I'll be right back with you. <laughs> stop, start, stop, start, stop, start, stop, start. All right, guys, got those dry. Now we wanted to add string or ribbon, but we didn't want to. That's what the pick a stick gods told us to do. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna use tacky glue because it dries quicker. on its side so that it doesn't take 20 minutes for it to come back out. I may not, that may, string may not be long enough to go, how about this guy? Yep. It should be. Just lay it in the glue. Okay, give that a little snip, pull one down, go from this side, <clears throat> oh, Christmas songs running through my head I'm not completely ready for Christmas I mean we haven't bought a thing but, so like in that aspect we are not ready at all um, but I've wrapped my mind around the fact that Christmas is around the corner oh and then I screwed my glue up coming out yet yep we'll just go right over here all right lid to glue glue back upside down so that it doesn't take 20 minutes to come out and then we'll just go like that give it a little snip all right, so while that is drying, um, I'll just kind of let it dry all natural for a minute. I want to do, so that was add string or ribbon. Let's see, gelatos, Poscas. So I want to use the Poscas now. While that glue is drying, let's see orange, red, and yellow. <clears throat> we are going to give our little flowers and outline I like a so so let's see we'll do the orange on the yellow and the red on the orange let's see 
if I can keep my hands out of it. That right there is kind of smushy. I have a lot of paint right there and it's not quite dry. Guess what? It is what it is, right? Alright. And then red for the middle one. I like the painterly effect that we're getting. Kind of the okay. Oh, let's get this one wiped off a little bit. I think I got some glue on there. We definitely don't want glue. Okay. Then. This is gonna take a minute to dry, but what can I do in the meantime? I think I can get down here without goofing the gelatos up too much. Let's see, that was Pasca's. And then use gelatos. Use dark green first. Gelatos. There we go. If I don't get too close to that glue, I can live with it. Like that. And then I want to take probably not that one. This one. I'll just give them a smudge. I don't know if you guys can hear Cinder's squeaky toy. She's in the backyard. She is being a 100% turd. <laughs> All right, now we'll add the lighter green on top. <laughs> now she's got the zoomies and she's running all over my house. with that uh, there we go I can't decide if I'm gonna use Pascas for the leaves or gelatos for the leaves or maybe a combination thereof or both and that's gonna be my draw or doodle so that's what we'll do next but I want to get this glue dried so excuse me I will be right back oh and I did use my gelatos so we're getting there draw a doodle and then use stabilo as the last one so i'll be right back all righty we're back i think i'm going to use poscas for what the heck did i do with them <laughs> poscas for the leaves Pasca for the leaves. I made light green and dark green. I'm just gonna do 
three leaves. <clears throat> yeah, that's all dry. My glue is still not completely dry, but it's drier, so I didn't think I'd drag the Poscas through it. So this video might be a little bit long, longer than my normal videos. Well, I mean, usually my videos are about 30 minutes. But I think this one's going to be a little bit longer. Dry, Pasca's dry. This won't take a second, so... I'll just bring you along for the drying of this. Dry. Dry, dry, dry. So this is my drawing slash doodling <laughs> portion. Okay, now it wants my Stabilo, which is running out of sharp. Now I want to add some little centers. Like that. And I'm gonna grab one of my sponges and dip it in the water and just give it a smoosh. This idea was from, I believe, Helen. So thanks, Helen, for your little sponge brush idea. And I like how it is painterly and not perfect. I think that was the problem before that I was having when I was using the Stabilo. Was that I was trying for perfection. You know, we artists. <laughs> I think everything got to be perfect. Yeah, I like that. Just outlining those leaves. Yep, and then I want to just kind of take, well, that didn't work very well. So, just kind of want to add some A little bit of darkness back into that. Wetting the sponge. There's a little bit of a glare for me, so hopefully it's not bad for you guys. Yep, I like that. Okay. So that was draw or doodle and use the billow all. So that is all ten of our pick a sticks. Woohoo! However, I want to add a sentiment up top. <clears throat> oh, I don't know why I don't already have these out of their packages. I guess because I haven't used them yet. But I thought they would be fun and add some black and white to our um, project. And I wanted some sort of sentiment, and I was like, what could this be? And then I thought of the perfect one. So, I am going to use the glue stick. And just add some glue along here so that these will stick. Start out with that.
gonna be you are. <laughs> So B U T T E R F L Y. Okay, that should work. Boy, that just fit. Concrete butterfly. And then, what did I do with it? Give me just a second. I'm looking for something. Looking, looking, looking. I know where it's at. <laughs> I'm like, geez, where's my stuff? Where's my stuff? And we're gonna add a butterfly. there and we're gonna add its little antennae and then I am going to sign it Screwed that up. Twenty, twenty. All right. I like it. Maybe it needs just a little pop of. There we go. There, I like it. All right, guys, if you liked what you saw, please give me a big thumbs up. If you're new here and like the content, please feel free to subscribe. Also something new is I have a PO box and I'm gonna leave it down in the description box below. Um, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.